and welcome to Henrietta Barnett School. I'm delighted to be welcoming you here, although I wish it were possible to welcome you in person. But as that's not possible this year, uh, we've put together a video to give you a bit of a flavour of the school. So I'm going to tell you a bit about uh, what the school is like and we've also got some students who will be uh, talking to you as well, some year sevens and some sixth form. Um, as well as some of the other members of staff and we hope that that will give you a good idea of what Henrietta Barnett School uh, is all about. So um, my name is Del Cook and I've been the head here for six years and uh, before that I was head of an independent school in uh, Surrey and it's interesting to see how uh, the same high quality all-round education uh, is happening here as was happening there uh, only here there is the joy that there are no fees to pay. So it is really an extraordinary school and um, I'm quite excited to tell you something about it. So everybody's aware of the academic success um, of the school and it's not something that we focus on very much because we feel that we are about so much more than that. Um, and I suppose the thing I find most remarkable about the school is the fact that it combines very high achieving um, students and results with an extraordinarily relaxed atmosphere. We very much, it feels like a big family and uh, the students all talk about it as being their second home which uh, we think is just what a school should be. You spend a lot of time here and it's important that the students feel happy and comfortable and safe and uh, there is lots of fun and laughter as well as uh, an awful lot of learning that goes on. Our students are ambitious, independent, curious, intellectually interested um, and they really uh, enjoy bouncing ideas off each other. There's a constant atmosphere of debate and engagement with every kind of issue um, that you put in front of them. It's all lapped up with, uh, with great relish. So, as I said before, we feel like we're very much more than just the academic results. They, we don't teach for the results, we teach in order to try and produce students who will be inspired by learning and um, go out and, and take on the world and equip them to do that, that, it, that is our passion. Uh, so we believe that the things outside of the classroom are as important as what happens inside the classroom. So there are endless activities on offer of every variety. The last time I counted them up, there were about a hundred to choose from. They range from um, robotics, where we've got through to the World Championships for the last few years um, in America, uh, through to book clubs and fitness clubs and um, lots of student-run societies. For example, our current affairs society where lots of famous people come in and speak. We're very fortunate being in the heart of London and being able to entice people here. Um, and. Uh, Every other kind of club that you can think of um, is on offer and if it's not on offer then we suggest that students start to run one of those themselves. Um, so we really encourage everybody to get involved, whether it's in um, all the high quality sport or music or drama and uh, you're going to hear a bit about those from um, those departments but there's so much going on. The drama is like something from the West End stage, um, music, there's every form of of um, uh, orchestra and choir and group uh, that you could possibly think of and we really enjoy all the concerts and listening to what our students uh, manage there um, and sports covering every every sort of sport and, and we like to put all of these things on offer and encourage our students to get involved in as many as possible. Uh, we also run lots of trips so as well as the day trips in a normal year obviously this year is not normal uh, sadly with the Covid but um, in a normal year we would run about 20 residential trips. Um, some of those are in this country, activity trips, Duke of Edinburgh expeditions and so on uh, uh, and uh, geography field trips, biology field trips and many of them are abroad for example um, classics trips to uh, Naples or Greece and um, languages trips to France and Germany and Spain um, and we've had geography trips to the Azores and all sorts of um, other uh, history trips uh, and um, uh, well there's too many to name uh, lots of residential opportunities for every year group gets the chance of attending at least one if not several of those trips um, every year uh, but the most important thing of all to us is that our students are happy there's a very strong pastoral care 
um, team and um, we spend a lot of time talking about how to make sure that the environment is one where the students are happy to go and um, talk to somebody if there's something that's not going right uh, and they have plenty of opportunities uh, for support of all different kinds and it's something that we talk about a lot in order to make that part of normal life as it should be. So their happiness is, um, is our top priority. Students come from um, all over the place. We are a really diverse community and that is something that we treasure. Um, and they come from uh, all sorts of different primary and prep schools, very often the only one from their school. Um, and uh, everybody immediately seems to become friends. The, the fact that there aren't very many from their previous school means that they can make friends very easily with a wide range of new people, which is lovely to see. So the year sevens seem to very quickly be bounding around the school as if they own it. And um, older students are very good with the younger students and so everyone helps, helps them to settle in quickly. And uh, one thing we would say is do be careful about how far you travel it's really not fair to make a student travel um, too far to come to school so if we're too far away i'm sure there are some wonderful schools that are nearer to you uh, but if this is a school you're considering uh, then of course we would uh, we would love to welcome you here and um, a bit later on when you've heard some of the students speak i'll say a little bit about the practicalities of applying um, but welcome to henrietta barnett school Hello, I am Jessica and I am in Year 7. I have been asked to write something about my time at this school and so I will. Year 7 has been magnificent as I have made lots of friends and there have been many amazing activities and lessons. All of the older students are very welcoming and we get to meet them in the clubs at lunch or after school. I have been in the chess club, the orchestra, the netball squad and programming club. This year I have participated in a chess tournament, netball competitions and music concerts. I really enjoy the music clubs here because the orchestras and music ensembles are exceptional. I also took part in the South East Schools Chamber Competition which I found really enjoyable. My favourite subject is physics, since we get to do lots of fun experiments. I think Harrietta Barnett is a wonderful school with outstanding opportunities. Welcome to the drama department at the Henrietta Barnett School. My name's Emily Smith, I'm the Director of Drama and we'd be thrilled to welcome you here uh, for a host of extracurricular activities in theatre and performance. The main thing uh, we offer at the Henrietta Barnett School for all students to get involved in is the school production, which we host every winter. Um, shows have ranged from musicals and plays, we've done shows including Oklahoma, Guys and Dolls, last year we did A Christmas Carol, and girls are involved from year eight all the way up until the sixth form in acting, singing, dancing, as well as backstage roles. There are lots of theatre trips that uh, students can get involved in from Key Stage 3 all the way up to Key Stage 4. There is a Shakespeare club and there are lots of student-run clubs um, that we're very lucky to have um, going on in the drama department as well. So if you're interested in performing, we'd love to welcome you here. Welcome to the library and um, here we have Miranda who's in year 13 who's going to talk a bit about her experiences of the school. So Miranda, what are the things that you like most about the school? I think one of the best things about the school is the atmosphere here and the relationship between teachers and students. There's such a relaxed atmosphere where people can really feel free to express themselves and also uh, to confide in other people of things that could be worrying them or that things that they could be um, concerned about. And I think that's really good in a school to have an atmosphere like that where you can air what's bothering you so that you have more energy to concentrate on what you like doing. Fantastic. And uh, which subjects have you enjoyed particularly over your time here? Um, well, I'm a really big fan of music. Um, and even though I didn't take it further higher up into the school, I've still been able to um, be in music clubs, which I have found a really great 
difference from some of my more academic subjects. And there's a really great community in the music department, and so I've really enjoyed being um, in the ensembles and the orchestras, and we get to go on trips, like music tours and stuff, which is great fun. And it sort of fosters a great um, a friendship between everyone in the music department. Um, and which subjects have you, do, have you taken for your A-levels? So I took maths, further maths, design and technology and classical civilization. I think my favourite of those is classical civilization, just because it's a real passion subject for me and the teachers are so engaged, especially as the class sizes are a little smaller there, so we can really get a sort of dialogue going on in the lessons. Um, and what are you hoping to go on to do? Computer science at university, um, which I think has a lot of the maths and the further maths in it, but also we get a lot of opportunities in DT to look at the more IT side of things. And can you talk a bit more about um, activities? You've said uh, that you've been involved in a lot of music activities. Over the years, have you um, done any other activities? Can you talk a bit about what sorts of things the school has on offer? Um, well, in my earlier years, I was very involved with uh, the beginning of the robotic scheme, which is a great thing we do here. Um, we sort of get teams together and involve them in the VEX IQ and the, the higher VEX activities, and they'll be put in teams to build robots to do whatever various challenges there are in that year. Um, and people really throw their whole being into it. You see them there at lunch times and at break times. It's really a great way to get people engaged with um, technology and also with um, the DT department as a whole. It's, it's a great way to, to bring everyone together there. So how would you, uh, finally, how would you characterise the school if you're talking uh, to people uh, who want to learn a bit about what the school is like? Uh, what would you say are the key features of well, the school? Well, I think the school has quite a reputation for being um, very academic, um, but the second you step foot in here, you realise that it's actually just a big family, and it's, you know, we work hard, but also you know that you can be safe and you can be known here, and I think that's the most important thing about it. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Miss Rodwell, Head of PE at Henrietta Barnett. This is the multi-gym, one of the PE department's facilities. We run a huge range of clubs at school. Some run at lunchtime, some run after school. We offer squad training where students prepare for fixtures in local and regional competitions. And we also run other clubs where it's just to improve your skills in those clubs. We do a lot of netball, basketball, fitness, dance, pretty much every activity is covered here at HBS to encourage everyone to get involved in something. We believe in sport for all and we encourage everyone to get involved in as many sports as possible. We offer squad training for the more elite sports women and we play against other schools locally and regionally and we also offer a huge variety of sports so that everyone can get involved and improve the skills that they learn in lessons. We very much look forward to welcoming you to the PE department at Henrietta Barnett soon. Hello, my name's Millie and I'm in Year 7. My first year at HBS has only been one word, incredible. From the moment I stepped into the building, I was surrounded with warm smiles and happy faces. The teachers were all so friendly and welcoming and told us everything we needed to know. After my first week, I felt that I'd been going to HBS all my life. One of my favourite things about the school is all of the opportunities. You learn three languages in Year 7, as well as exploring the arts and sciences in more depth. I've never learned French or Latin before, so I really enjoyed being introduced to these two languages as well as improving my German. My favourite lesson has been English as the curriculum was so well crafted and the lessons were a mixture of hands-on activities, creative writing and comprehensions. The teachers do everything they can to guide you and help you if you're struggling and I feel really comfortable asking for help if I need it. As well as this, there are numerous clubs and societies that are open to everyone. This year alone I have gone to LGBTQ plus society, the Year 7 Network Quad, Squad, Book Club, Fencing, Jewish Society and so many more. There are a range of lunchtime clubs and societies spanning all of the subjects and I guarantee there's something for everyone. Another thing I've loved about the school is the warm, friendly atmosphere. The teachers and older pupils alike are so generous and make you feel at home instantly. The marking system is specifically designed so we don't have grades as such, but instead whether or not we've met, exceeded or are working towards expectations and the teachers do everything they can to help you, give you feedback and answer any questions you may have. 
Even before school started, on one of the induction days, I met some friends and we went round to each other's houses before the beginning of term. I met so many interesting people and learned so many things and HPS is a wonderful place to learn and develop. Hello, my name is Maurice Chernick. I'm Director of Music at Henrietta Barnett School. I've been here for something like 15 years. Uh, it's a wonderful place to work in and uh, if you uh, end up coming here, your uh, daughter will have a wonderful time uh, and we hope we'll have a wonderful time musically. I'm sitting here in what's called our Mac Suite and we have uh, computers running uh, Sibelius and Logic Pro 10 software, which is wonderful composition tools, uh, which the girls will all be learning how to use throughout their time in Key Stage 3 and through Key Stage 4 and 5. Um, we offer GCSE Music and A-Level Music, but supplementary to that, and very much hand-in-hand -hand with that, we run a huge extracurricular program with uh, a great deal of variety, um, which we hope that your daughters will be as involved in as they possibly can. Uh, we run choirs, uh, orchestras, uh, and smaller ensembles. We have a chamber music program, we have a rock school, and uh, we do several concerts uh, per term, one large one each term in the autumn, the spring, and the summer term. Uh, we run a music festival in the summer term, uh, we uh, have done every couple of years, uh, we go on tour abroad and uh, we hope that um, when the girls come out of our school they come out with a huge range of experiences of different types of music making from classical to rock to jazz uh, and that they have a great time and leave with the idea that music is a wonderful thing in their life and stays a wonderful thing in their life. So from the outset we have uh, a Year 7 choir and there's a huge amount of singing that takes place in the classroom as well. Um, but we run a Year 7 choir and Year 7 all perform in uh, a big concert at the end of their first term here. Uh, we have uh, um, a choir from Year 8 upwards which uh, sings a whole range of things from songs from musicals to uh, folk music uh, to some classical stuff and jazz. Uh, we have a senior choir which primarily focuses on um, classical repertoire, but not exclusively. Uh, we have several instrumental ensembles, large instrumental ensembles. Our flagship ones are the HBS Symphony Orchestra, which has upwards of 50 members in it and plays a whole range of classical repertoire. Uh, we have the uh, HBS Jazz Band. Uh, we have uh, the concert orchestra, which is for sort of grade two, three standard players upwards. Uh, and they have such fun that actually when players have reached about grade six, they still want to stay in it, even if they've moved on to symphony orchestra. Um, we have a uh, chamber orchestra, uh, which is for high standard players from about grade six upwards, string players, which is sometimes supplemented with uh, woodwind. Uh, and uh, we have uh, lots of smaller ensembles such as clarinet ensemble, flute ensembles, guitar ensemble uh, and saxophone ensemble. Uh, so it's a huge range of things. A uh, little bit about rock school. Um, we have two um, teachers who come in uh, every week to run sessions uh, in our band's room which is uh, below um, the uh, uh, Bigwood building uh, next to the canteen and they rehearse during lunch times and we have two band nights a year um, which take place in the drama studio with wonderful lighting and uh, dancing. So I hope that gives you um, a flavour of all the wonderful things that are happening at Henrietta Barnett School in terms of music and we look forward very much to meeting you in the future. So welcome to the grounds of the school. We're here between the two main buildings in the lovely grassy area that we've got here and uh, we're um, just by the sports courts as well. And I have with me Beth, who's in year 13. So welcome Beth. 
Um, what is it that you would like to say about the school most? What have you enjoyed most in your years here? I think the one thing I've enjoyed most is just how supported I feel by all the other students here because obviously Henrietta Barnet has a reputation as a very academic school but I have never felt like I couldn't ask my friends or my teachers or any of my peers for help in any matter or indeed between year groups asking students older than me for um, help with things like the UCAS process especially in sixth form. And what would you say about the various subjects that you've studied over the years? What have you enjoyed particularly? Um, well, especially in Key Stages 3 and 4, I've particularly enjoyed studying languages at this school. Um, so in Year 7, I studied French and German, although now the Year 7s also study Spanish. And then in Year 8, I picked up Spanish and Latin as well. Um, and learning all four, I think, really gave me a kind of breadth of understanding of how to study languages as well as just the languages themselves. And in fact, I continued French, German and Latin all to GCSE, which gave me a whole range of wonderful opportunities, including a French exchange um, and uh, the Latin trip to Pompeii, which was a wonderful experience. Brilliant. OK, and what, uh, what did you choose to carry on with into the sixth form? So into the sixth form, I carried on with further maths, maths, physics and Latin. And what are you going to go on to do at university? Uh, so at university next year I'm going on to study maths. Fantastic. So talk to us a bit about the, um, the activities that, uh, that are on offer at the school and the ones that you chose to get involved with over the years. So Henrietta Barnett has such a wide range um, of extracurricular activities on offer. Um, I've been particularly involved in the music and classics departments. Um, however, one of my favourite activities that I've been involved with has been Mythology Club, which was a student-run club. Uh, Henrietta Barnett's really big on student-run activities, which I really like. Um, so one of my friends took over after another student left running Mythology Club and I had the chance to run a series of sessions on topics that were really close to my heart, so that was a lot of fun. Brilliant. And what would you say about the relationships both between students and between students and staff, which is something that is talked about quite a lot here? What's your view of that? My view of that is I think that students and teachers have a really uncommon relationship at Henry to Barnet in that I feel like I can talk to teachers um, when I'm struggling with any problems. I feel like they're always really uh, enthusiastic to help me, both in terms of their love for their own subject and in terms of helping me as a person. Um, and I also feel that um, the relationship between students, I feel is particularly strong, especially between year groups, um, which is something I haven't particularly noticed elsewhere, um, wherein we have um, links in Key Stage 3 um, to, to, uh, to help talk to different students. Um, and especially in sixth form, talking to the year above has been really useful. And your year group have had a really rotten time of things in the sense that uh, the lockdown stopped you from being able to have your celebrations, stopped you from taking your A-levels. Uh, it's a very difficult and uh, strange period for you. Do you think you'll be keeping up with these friends that you haven't been able to see much of over recent weeks as uh, time goes forwards? Absolutely. I think I'm echoing the sentiment of all of my peers when I say I've made friends for life at Henrietta Barnet. Uh, I feel so close to everyone and I'm, um, I feel in the very lucky position to have been keeping in contact with lots of them over the lockdown period and I really hope that will continue into the future. Fantastic. So if you were going to sort of sum up uh, in, in a few sentences to the people that are watching this who want to know something about the school, what would you say that would uh, characterise or describe the school best for you? I would say that for me Henrietta Barnett is all about curiosity and about enthusiasm to learn and I think those two really go hand in hand. I think everyone here is really excited to learn new things both inside the classroom and outside um, and I really like how much that's encouraged here. Fantastic, thank you so much Beth and all the best as you go forward. Thank you. My name is Nandita and I'm in Year 7 at Henrietta Barnett. I have thoroughly enjoyed this year and look forward to Year 8. During Year 7, I have made many friends and truly feel part of the community. The teachers are really helpful and I've learned so much this year. One of my favourite parts of school is the wide range of extracurricular activities where you can learn a new sport or skill and there's something for everyone. Personally, I really enjoy being a part of the netball squad and competing in matches against other schools. I hope you enjoy learning at Henrietta Barnett. Thank you. Welcome to the main hall and in fact if you look just behind me you can see a picture of um, Dame Henrietta Barnett who 
founded this school. She's a very interesting lady to read up on, uh, did some amazing things well before her time in a sense. Uh, and it's nice to be able to bring you to the uh, most highly listed um, of our listed buildings uh, here. So welcome to the main hall. Um, I'm going to just tell you a few practicalities about applying to the school. So uh, you have to fill in the application form which is available on the website, that's the supplementary entrance test application form for the school um, and that has to be filled in by 5 o'clock on Friday the 17th of July 2020. That's 5 o'clock on the 17th of July 2020. Um, and that uh, application form allows you to then um, sit our entrance tests. So you'll see the dates of our round one and round two entrance tests on the website, uh, COVID permitting. Uh, you will realise that uh, we've had to already move it uh, back um, and uh, we hope to be able to do it at the, um, at the change dates, but we will keep you updated on the website. <clears throat> so round one, uh, consists of verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning and English. Uh, they are all reasoning papers, that's uh, what's expected, and um, no knowledge is required other than the knowledge that we would expect uh, students in that year group to have anyway. Um, as you know, the school is extremely uh, sought after, highly competitive to get in. We have an awful lot of people applying. Um, last year there were over 3,000. And so if you, um, if you want to come, then you do have to put us first, as first preference, on your local authority um, CAF form, which you fill in at the end of October. So that is the point at which you make a decision about which schools you would prefer to go to. And because so many apply to us, if you don't put us to first preference, you will actually never find out whether your daughter would have um, got into the school. Uh, if you do put us as first choice and she's not offered a place, then the local authority automatically makes your second choice um, up into your first choice, so you don't lose out by doing that. Um, so, the first round, um, everybody sits, and then the top 300 ranked from that first round <coughs> excuse me, are invited through to round two, and round two will take place um, a few weeks later. So in round two, they sit a maths paper and an English paper, and again, that relies on only the knowledge that we would expect uh, your daughters to have by that stage in their education anyway. We're not trying to catch anybody out, um, and I would just give a wary warning about tutors, because the key thing in that, those round two papers is that we want the students to be creative and for it to be their thoughts. Um, so if they come armed with pre-prepared things and try and insert them into the paper, they're likely to score less well than those who are um, thinking for themselves. So after the uh, round two uh, uh, test, um, then let me tell you what happens in terms of results. So anybody who is legally a looked after child or pupil premium, um, if they've got through to the top 300, to round two, then they will automatically be offered a place at the school. It is also the case that it, for families who live within three miles uh, of the school, and there's more details in the admissions policy on our website about all of this, I'm not saying anything new, it's all there in the admissions policy on the website. Anyone that lives within three miles of the school, um, who, uh, which is judged by Barnet, by the local authority, anyone that they judge to live within three miles of the school, who gets through to round two, will be offered a place at the school. But I should just put in some words of caution there. Uh, the idea is not that anybody moves, this is in order to make sure that the local people surrounding the school in three miles radius um, have the opportunity to get in against um, the stiff competition that there is. So if you decide to move, then um, Barnet will judge whether that is an address of convenience or not. And if it's an address of convenience that is uh, simply in order to gain preference at a school, then they will reject the address. So please be careful about that. 
Um, but if you are judged to be within three miles of the school, then you would be offered a place if you've got through to round two. The majority of candidates do not fit into any of those categories. They have just sat the test and they will be offered places in strict rank order. So the majority will simply be offered in strict rank order um, after the small number that fit into those categories. Um, so that's how it works. Um, and um, I think I've said everything that I need to tell you about in terms of your application. So application by the 17th of July to make sure that you can sit the tests. Um, and then we will let you know before you fill in your October path form, if the dates go according to plan, uh, we will let you know whether your daughter is through to round two, which will give you information. Anyone getting through to round two may end up getting a place at the school. If you don't get through to round two, then um, the chance of you getting into the school is uh, pretty much zero. So um, that gives you information for making your choice in terms of preferences on your CAF form. So it just remains for me to say, I hope that we've managed to give you a bit of a glimpse of our lovely school um, in this video. I'm sorry we weren't able to welcome you here in person this year, um, but we very much hope that uh, we will be welcoming uh, your daughters uh, to the school in due course. Thank you very much for watching.